Hey, it's Paul from How to Network here. I get um, emails from time to time from people who basically are thinking of quitting. And it's pretty common. I've been really busy for quite a few months. In fact, most of the year. It's 16th of September now, 22. And obviously with a family and commuting and other responsibilities, it's hard to put in the time. You really, for most certifications, need two hours a day which is theory, labs, and practice questions. So I've got a solution that works for my students. It's worked for me. And say you were doing something like, let's pick even like a basic exam, uh, like the CCNA, that's the most popular one that people take. So we've got, um, there's 45 mini labs to do. This is obviously my course. Right, <laughs> there's 30 hours of video training that excludes the labs. So I um, don't know if I say how many labs. There's like something like 45 mini labs. And I think there's 20 or 30 full on labs. So you've got to go through all the lessons, do all the labs, do all the practice exams. So really, you've got two months minimum work here. Most most people take longer because they skip days. So you actually have to refresh. So you need to get a win. You need to get something on your resume. You need to get some belief in yourself and into good habits of studying. So why not pick a certification that's much easier to pass, is valuable, and um, will still help you with your career. So you've got to pick something that's pretty easy. You could sort of study maybe like over a full weekend or just an hour a night in a week or two. So you can forget CompTIA, you can forget Juniper, forget Wireshark, forget Python for the moment. All of the Cisco's minimum two months each or more. All the Microsoft forget. Probably most of the coding. The probably easiest one is the web development certificate, which is a certification course, but you've still got to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, even the baby security. So it used to be the Microsoft MTA. You used to be able to, I reckon, in a few hours, learn enough to pass the exams on um, Windows 10 they had and uh, Windows Server Essentials. The other ones were harder, like SQL and that kind of stuff. But there is still an exam you can take. So check out the Linux LPI Essentials. And I'm not telling you to take mine. You can um, check the syllabus and study yourself or get a book. So download in a, to a virtual machine on VirtualBox or whatever. Linux, I don't think they used to have a specific version. We use Ubuntu. So this is a much easier course. I'm not sure how many. Um, so, yeah, you can learn all the Linux fundamentals in um, a good long weekend if you don't put telly on or go out anywhere or maybe just a few hours every night. But you're looking at around a week's work, maybe two weeks tops. Um, so make sure you get in the latest exam. Uh, this is aimed at complete beginners. So you don't need to even know anything about Linux. All explained. Um, you need to do some hands-on labs, which you can do at home on your uh, virtual machine or on your laptop or whatever. Do some practice exams. Make sure you get in high scores in the practice exams and then go and take it. And then you'll get a nice little certificate from the Linux Professional Institute. So that's what I recommend you do. It won't hurt your current um, studies if you're doing Cisco or anything else because Linux pretty much runs the internet. Everyone's heard of it. You can whack it on your resume and even start applying for um, Linux um, support roles, obviously junior support roles. So that's what I recommend you do if you're stu struggling to get motivation, if you're busy. It won't really interrupt your current studying if you're doing any. If you're not, then this is great. If you are, then really it will help. And um, you can obviously then re, re um, start your studies with some fresh belief and um, sell behind your wins. So I don't normally do this kind of video. I'm just testing it to see if it's something that you're interested in from my uh, over 20 years experience now in IT. Uh, any questions, drop it in the uh, comments, please. And I'll, uh, I do read all the comments and answer the serious ones. And um, let me know if I can help. I, don't, I won't be giving tech support on Linux, obviously, but just general advice. If you like this video, please click the um, like for the channel and the bell because uh, we've got loads of um, courses coming out, uh, career tips, free labs, all that kind of stuff. Um, so stuff that will help you. 
All right, so thanks for listening and um, I'll see you on the next video.